General Abdurrahman Chiani of Niger's Junta has warned ECOWAS sternly, emphasizing that while they are receptive to engaging in discussions with the regional group, any potential military interference will not be a walk in the park. He cautioned that any assault on the nation would be easy for those involved and that they will be going up against millions of Nigerians who are ready to fight to protect the interest of their country. During a televised address to the nation, Chiani asserted that Echo Was was making preparations for a potential assault on Naija by establishing a joint occupying force alongside a foreign military. He strongly criticized what he referred to as illegal and inhuman sanctions imposed by the regional alliance. Nigerian, Nigerian, mes chers compatriotes, je affirme ici que notre ambition n'est pas de confisquer le pouvoir. Je réaffirme aussi notre disponibilité à tout dialogue pour autant qu'il tienne compte des orientations voulues par le peuple nigérien fier et résilient. Toute approche coercitive et ignorant la quête de souveraineté, de sécurité et de bonne gouvernance exprimée clairement par la population revient à ignorer les dynamiques profondes en œuvre dans les pays sahéliens abandonnés à leur propre sort depuis plus de dix ans par ceux-là même qui, au lieu de les aider à combattre les maux qui les assaillent, veulent aujourd'hui les agresser. En somme, L'une au Conseil national pour la sauvegarde de la patrie, ni le peuple nigérien ne veulent d'une guerre et demeurent ouverts au dialogue. Mais, qu'on nous comprenne bien, si une agression devait être entreprise contre nous, elle ne sera pas la promenade de santé à laquelle certains croient. En effet, ils trouveront face à eux the Military Council pledged a transition back to democratic governance within three years. During the address, Tigiani mentioned that the fundamental guidelines for this transition will be established within a month during a dialogue organized by the ruling Military Council. However, Abdel Fatah Musta, ECOWAS Commissioner for Political Affairs, Peace, and Security, expressed that ECOWAS found the proposition unacceptable. The new leaders of Niger have alleged that France, a strong supporter of Bazoum, is responsible for influencing Echo Was's anti-coup position. Over the weekend, Echo Was renewed its efforts for a diplomatic resolution. Following a meeting of Echo Was chiefs of staff in Accra, Ghana, on Friday, the 17-member coalition confirmed that a prospective intervention date had been determined. Despite prior refusals to engage with earlier missions, the leaders of Niger's coup displayed a different stance on Saturday. A delegation led by former Nigerian head of state general Abdul Salami Abubakar was received at the airport by the prime minister appointed by the military, as reported by Reuters. Following the meeting with Chiani, the delegation also held a separate meeting with the ousted President Mohamed Bazoum. Bazoum has been confined to house arrest in Niamey since the military assumed control. Meanwhile, thousands of people formed queues outside the central stadium, enlisting as fighters and volunteers ready to offer assistance for various roles, should the military call for reinforcement. Certain individuals reported waiting since 3 a.m., and clusters of young people energetically chanted in support of the military leaders, expressing opposition towards both Echo Was and France, the nation's former colonial power. Do you think Niger should go back to democracy now, or is the three-year transition plan better? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the New Africa channel for more exciting future videos.